So I'm here today to ask the Gates Foundation to sever all their ties with the uh, with Monsanto. Uh, currently, they're opening up markets throughout Africa for corporations like Monsanto, uh, Syngenta, Bayer, Dow, all the major uh, agribusinesses that have destroyed our food system here in this country. The Gates Foundation is looking to export our model, our broken model, to Africa, and hundreds of thousands of farmers are trying to organize against these giants, but they don't have the resources uh, to get their voices heard. So we're here today to reflect their voices and make them heard. I don't want to find out that when I'm 40 or 50, I'm going to have health effects that I can blame Monsanto for. It As a medical physician and practitioner, I'm really concerned about the new Dow Monsanto conglomeration of 2,4-D, which is half the exfoliant of Agent Orange. It's about to be approved. If the 2,4-D experimental corn becomes available, it will run into, spill into the surrounding lands, into the watershed. It will affect all fish. that Monsanto seeds aren't working here in the U.S. Uh, failures with uh, weed resistance, um, pest resistance, um, and one of the major issues that we have with the seeds being introduced into Africa is in intellectual property rights. African farmers can't afford these seeds, and the Gates Foundation is helping them to afford these seeds by opening up microcredit uh, organizations, which puts farmers into a, into a debt cycle that ultimately leads to them losing their land and having to move into the city. So we got to keep working together as GMO uh, Free Washington, as the Fair Trade Coalition, as Community Alliance for Global Justice, and all the educators to keep putting the pressure on the Gates Foundation to be responsive to all the people. Yeah?